In a developing story, more than 30 Oklahomans are calling on the state's highest court to stop the state superintendent, Ryan Walters, mandate for Bibles in every Oklahoma classroom. We first told you at five, the lawsuit was filed with the Oklahoma Supreme Court against Walters and the rest of the Board of Education. Fox 23's Devin Lyons spoke with those who filed the lawsuit about why they brought this issue to the state's highest court. It appears he does not care or does not think that there is a line. Um, this is seems to be another in a long line of, of instances where Superintendent Ryan Walters um, is trying to push a Christian nationalist agenda on our public schools. Reverend Lori Walke is a church leader from Oklahoma City. She was the first person to initiate a lawsuit against State Superintendent Ryan Walters and the Oklahoma State Board of Education. The end goal is to prevent taxpayer money from being spent to buy Bibles and put into classrooms where uh, they will be uh, used to indoctrinate children. We want to stop that. Reverend Walkie and 31 others filed the suit to the state Supreme Court in an attempt to block the OSDE's mandate to put a Bible in every classroom in Oklahoma. The nearly three dozen plaintiffs are a mix of church leaders, parents, and attorneys. They're asking the court to block the use of taxpayer dollars to purchase Bibles, claiming it violates both the Oklahoma and U.S. constitutions. And they're asking for a written bar to prevent this from happening with any future boards of education. Millions and millions and millions of hard-working Oklahomans uh, are, are really conscientious about their money. Um, and we expect it to be used responsibly and, quite frankly, legally. <laughs> and using hard-working taxpayer money to buy Bibles, particularly when our education system um, needs real work, needs real attention, um, is, is frankly, to use religious language, blasphemous. I mean, the lawsuit really is predicated on the idea that Ryan Walters has exceeded his authority yet again in his effort to mandate um, a particular text be taught. Uh, this has the force and effect of a an agency rule, and it did not go through any of the rulemaking processes. Uh, nor does he have the authority to go through that rulemaking process. Leslie Briggs is one of the attorneys on the plaintiff's eight-person legal counsel team. She is also part of the Oklahoma Appleseed Center for Law and Justice, a nonprofit group of attorneys. If I had one final thought, it would be that the best way for us to protect our own individual religious liberty, our individual freedom to worship as we see fit, is to prevent the government from doing these kinds of things. And the founders understood that. I don't know why Ryan Walters doesn't. Covering news that matters, Devin Lyon, Fox 23 News. Ryan Walters' office sent Fox 23 a statement on the lawsuit saying in part, quote, Oklahomans will not be bullied by out-of-state radical leftists who hate the principles our nation was founded upon. It is not possible for our students to understand American history and culture without understanding the biblical principles from which they came. So I'm proud to bring back the Bible to every classroom in Oklahoma. You can read the full lawsuit for yourself along with statements from several of the petitioners on this story on Fox23.com and the Fox 23 News app.